Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mechanical filth in GMS because it's disgusting and I love it. Alright, so let's get into this here. So let's turn off the compressor here on the channel itself and let's turn off our effects and we're using the trance, we're using the reverb and also the distortion which is fantastic in GMS, one of my favorite effects that comes with this synth. So the oscillators, the first one is going to be filth, the second one is also going to be filth and the third is going to be throat, so it's a match made in hell. The first one is going to be zero pitch change, zero fine change, the second one is going to be also zero pitch change but two on the semi or on the fine tune. The third throat is going to be up 19, so quite a big jump, and then four on the fine tune, and that's what this sounds like here. So it's kind of uninspiring there, it's kind of a work in progress. The real cool part of this uh, this patch here is we're actually going to be using some FM, so two to one. So this second oscillator filth is going to be FMing this first one here, and the slider is at 038 For the EQ, I have a little bit on, and it's just taken off this... Uh, low bit or mid, low mids here at about 1.98 so it kind of works and then i'm pushing also the treble by a little bit and then the high by a little bit and you'll kind of make you, that'll make more sense later on once we get all the effects and everything going so back to the synth we have our filter here we're using a high pass for this one the cutoff is going to be at 11 or 0.11 percent and then zero resonance Now for the envelopes, we're not using a single one, so we can skip over this freely. The real magic with this patch is going to be the LFO and the timing. So a very important part is going to be this re-trigger button for both LFOs. Those are both on because every time we hit a note, we want that LFO to restart so it can sync up with our, with our tempo and our BPM, which is 142 at the moment. So for this first LFO, we have our amount quite high at 0.82. The rate is going to be 1-1. One, one and it's going to be on beat here. And this LFO here is going to be affecting the filter here at a square wave. So let's take a listen without it and then with it. So it's at 0.82. So without it. It's a subtle change, but it's going to be nice because this is going to be synced with our tempo. So it's a very important part. The real cool part as well here is LFO2. So this one is going to be affecting the frequency. It's also on retrigger because like I said, we want this to retrigger every time we hit a note that LFO should restart. Now it's going to be synced on beat and this one is going to be one over two. Also at a square wave. So basically an on off one zero type of thing. This mounts all the way to the top. I don't know why it was 99, but it should be all the way at the top. Here's it with that all the way at the bottom. So it's like, okay, that's weird, kind of cool, I guess, maybe. But at the top here, okay, it's like now we're getting somewhere. The attack is going to be at zero. The decay is also going to be at, not also, but it's going to be at one. The sustain at one. And then the release is very subtle at 0.23. The pitch, main pitch is going to be down by 12, so we're going to be dropping everything here. And the frequency slide is going to be on, and this is going to be 0.22. So now before we get to this distortion to turn it on, the volume is going to jump. So for any reason that you turned your volume up to listen to this patch, I would suggest turn it down. You have been warned in 3, 2, 1, we're turning on the glue, and this is what the patch sounds like now. So this distortion I put up at about 0.79, and then the filter is going to be at 0.62. Moving on, we have some reverb, and we're going to turn this on as well. And the feedback is going to be at about 0.55, so just a little boost up to the right. And same for the filter, 0.55 as well. Because that reverb really opens it up. So here's no reverb. Sounds very digital right in your face, which is cool, but you kind of want to put it in some type of room. And I kind of like the extra high ringing out reverb. I kind of felt it was perfect for this mechanical type of sound. And the next where the really, really, really cool part actually comes in is going to be in the trance. So this is kind of acting almost as like a side chain. So this is going to be a 1-1. One, one. The amount's all the way to the top at 1. It's going to be synced to the beat, and it's going to be a saw wave downwards. <laughs> The release is going to be at noon here, and then the depth is going to be at 0.68. 
Now this trance module, whatever you want to call it here, this one kind of took the most time to dial in correctly because you want the sound to be kind of moving and pumping while the music is going, but you don't want it to have that effect too much that it kind of loses its character. So here's it without it. And here's it with it. So you can really see here in this meter where the light's kind of jumping on and off. When it's off, the lights are just kind of static here. But the moment we turn this on, and we can see the waveform here in the center here kind of shrinking and growing at the same time. And that's also going to add to the addition to the sound moving. And this is synced to 1-1, one, one, which is going to be conveniently where our kicks are placed. So it's not technically a side chain in the sense that something else is triggering something else. It's just timed correctly with the kick drum. So in context with all this said and done, this is what it sounds like with a finished product here. Let's actually turn on our compressor here. And this is nothing too special. It's just kind of keeping everything in check. So yeah, just thought I'd mention that. One last thing here is I have my vital bass, which I think I made a video for this one as well. So if you're curious about this type of bass, there's also a video for this. And then this is a patch I made in Citrus called Computer Noises. It's not specific. I haven't, I haven't made a video on it, but that's kind of the ascending thing at the very end of the patch as well. So just so you know what's all in here. And here we go. Alright, so I hope you learned something. Hope you liked the patch. It's one of my favorites I've made in GMS. It came out really cool. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, press like on the thumbs up down there and we'll see you in the next one.